one method of finding of op, of optimizing that is to say ex, um, mi maximizing and minimizing finding the maximal and minimal solutions of a of an equation is the use of Lagrange multipliers. This is particularly useful in the presence of a constraint. So it's what makes this method particularly useful. In order to do this, we set up a a system called a Lagrangian. In this in, in, in the Lagrangian, f is what we want to maximize, where g minus c, g of x, y equals c, is our constraint. This is what constrains our solution. In order to start this, we take the partial derivative of each variable and also lambda where lambda is an arbitrary variable that we do not define. In, in practice, however, it refers to the marginal increase fall, um, of f with respect to a marginal increase in x or y. So, in order to solve this, we, we start with the partial derivatives. In this example, we are going to start with f of x comma y equals e to x y plus times y plus one, and with the constraint um, of g being two x y equals fifteen. I chose this sample particularly because there was not an, an obvious easy solution to solve this with conventional methods. To write out the Lagrangian we use this formula. So we get e to the x y plus 1 minus lambda 2xy minus 15 close bracket. Now we take the partial x derivative. This gives us e to the x, y plus 1, minus 2 lambda y equals 0. Uh, the next partial derivative, l with respect to y, gives us e to the x minus 2 lambda x equals 0. Next, to solve this, we can we can include the constraint. The next derivative with respect to lambda gives us the constraint 2xy minus 15 equals 0. In order to solve this, we can first take these two equations. We can substitute we can solve this for e to the x, which gives us e to the x equals 2 lambda x. If we take substitute that into our first equation, we get 2 lambda x y plus 1 minus 2 lambda y equals 0. In this case, we can get rid of the lambda, divide both sides by lambda, and we're left with 2x y plus 1 minus 2y equals 0. To simplify this, we can expand and divide both sides by 0, 2 as well xy plus x 
minus y equals zero. Next, we can include our constraint. Hmm. Okay, we can find a way to solve this. Um, if we include the constraint, we can rewrite the constraint as x, y equals 15 over 2. Or, better yet, we can solve this for x. Okay, this, this seems like an obvious, an easy way, but it leaves us with no clear resolution. So instead, I'm going to solve this for x, which gives us x equals 15 over 2 1 over y. Um, if I substitute this into our equation, we get One over 15 over 2, 1 over y times y, plus 15 over 2, 1 over y, minus y. This, as it is, is a difficult to solve problem. However, if we multiply um, both sides by y, times y, we get the more solvable negative y squared plus 15 over 2 y plus 15 over 2 equals 0. This is sol solvable by use of the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem. The quadratic equation. The quadratic equation. In this case, we can write out negative, negative y squared plus 15 over 2, y plus 15 over 2 equals 0. We can set a equals minus 1, b equals 15 over 2, c equals 15 over 2. In that case, we set out the quadratic equation, which is minus b plus minus square root b squared minus 4ac over 2a. That will be our solutions to y. Notice, because of the plus minus, we'll get two solutions in this case. This is not typical, but not, certainly not unknown either. In this case, we will either have, two, we'll have a, a minima and a maxima, or at least, two, no, or at least a saddle point. We need to decide which one is the appropriate one in this case. If we plug this into our calculators, we get solutions for x and for y. We get either for x, we get 3117, comma, 11883. That's 1.1. 1 .1. Also, we get 1.1883, 6.3117, after solving this equation. Now, there are ways to automatically tell 
which of these is the maxima. They are, however, complicated and mainly unnecessary. Since, for, for mo in most cases, it's simply easier to plug it into the, into the equation and find out. In, in the, in, for the bottom one, we get approximately 23.99. The top one gives us 1205.7. Clearly, this is the first one, the 1.18 comma 6.31 is the minima, and the 6.31 comma 1.188 is the maxima. This is how this is a common and useful method for solving uh, maximization in the presence of a constraint.